Good morning, friends. Welcome to GoOnlineTrainings.com. We done with the demo number one, demo number two. Today is the final demo, demo number three. Today is the demo number three. We are going to be talking about completely technical things today. And after this demo, you will be able to get the payment link. If you don't get the payment link by one o'clock Indian timing, so you can just call these numbers, WhatsApp numbers, or you can also check your spam. So check your spam, you know, folder in your gmail.com. If that is not there, call these numbers. Or still, if you don't get any response from my team means, you can also mail me saying that I did not get the payment details. Okay, just communicate to me so that I will be able to communicate with, you know, my team so they will be able to send the details. Uh, from tomorrow, uh, it will be the paid class and you can make the payments in installments and uh, the meeting link will change from tomorrow. So once you make the payment today, you will be able to get the new pay new you know meeting ID so that you will be able to continue from tomorrow. And uh, demos are completely free and from tomorrow, it will be the paid classes. We don't have any other timings. We don't have any other, uh, you know, co uh, you know, concessions are available monthly. We'll have only one batch. If you miss this batch, next batch will be uh, again on uh, May first. Remember that. And if you are busy, at least you need to watch these videos so that you don't miss any class. Daily videos will get recorded and will get uploaded to you so that you will be able to watch them. The validity for the course will be six months, and for the videos also for the six months. And if you wanted to have some more timings, the basic renewal fee will be there after six months. You can just renew it and continue further. And case studies are included. And you have to buy SQL videos and you need to make the payment for the Power BI classes, live classes as well. And we are going to be giving case studies and everything you need to practice them. One free project is included in this and we are going to be giving data warehousing for free and SSAS videos also will be given for free and integration services, SSIS, we are, uh, you know, co you know co conducting the live or, you know, co the videos you can also have them in the month of june so in this month april month and may month you should be able to complete power ba and sql server guys you need to make the payment only for sql server videos and power ba now and uh, nothing extra as of now so uh, job placement assistance is going to be provided so cv preparation going to be there and how to talk about your project how to you know talk about interview questions so a lot of things are going to be included in this module so you need not be worried about it even though you have 10 years of gap 20 years of gap doesn't matter so if you know the subject you can easily get into it sector only thing is that you need to have proper mentoring and you need to have proper study if you don't study well definitely it will be impossible to get into it industry don't believe brokers or don't you know go the proxy or the backdoor entries you will get cheated and you lose the money confidence and everything so you may take two more months extra or six more months extra doesn't matter but make sure that you understand the syllabus you complete the syllabus then you go for the interviews you fail for five to ten rounds of interview and the eleventh interview is yours clear so you need not pay not even single penny to anybody so if you have the skill it may take some time so no worries about it so even though you are not very good in english communication not at all you know important if you practice at least 100 interview question you should be able to easily crack the interviews clear so today let us talk about uh, the uh, technical things and uh, you know hope you have filled this form guys and first time people you need to fill this form this form is going to be having your email address full name with surname course details location you need to put your country or your city mobile number you need to include and click on subscribe other country people have to give other uh, the country code as well and this link i have already provided in the chat window so please you should be able to fill this only first time people already filled it means you can ignore this step and this is mandatory guys so uh, let me tell you what is that we're going to be discussing today so as we told you anybody can learn this course very very easily 
now i want to uh take the note so this was the notes i'm talking about yesterday right so april and may you have to concentrate on sql server we don't have live classes by videos and daily you have to watch one video from tomorrow or day after tomorrow so the video is going to be allocated by tomorrow or day after tomorrow so these are pretty much easy any non it people also can understand these you know sql server videos very very basic level to advanced level of you know concept i have provided so make sure that you you know take one by one one by one and write the notes is important because only if you watch video and leave it you don't understand anything you you need to have paper and pen so buy the videos and play the video and you need to write your own notes like that for power ba you will be attending live classes from tomorrow and 45 days it will be and april and may we will be able to complete so these two and in the month of june you will be able to get into ssis as well so as of now we need to make the payment for only these two courses in the month of june you can make the payment for ssis and cv preparation and job placement assistance everything will be included so if you have a filling gaps 10 20 12 years of gaps or 15 years of gap so how to fill that everything i'll be telling at the end of the you know this power ba class you should not be worried about it one project is also included and lot of other things also included so let us understand one by one so yesterday we had seen uh, the size is important depends upon the size you are going to be using different different tools right so now i wanted to tell you one uh, case study so the case study from amazon.com Amazon company wanted to analyze their sales. Analyze means they wanted to see how the sales is happening in India or how the sales is happening worldwide. Amazon company wanted to see their sales data. Clear? Amazon company wanted to see their sales data. But what is the problem of the company? Let us understand first. Company is doing business worldwide. They have a data, but the data got lot of challenges. These are called data issues or data challenges. So we are talking about a single company. Single company is doing business all over the world, not only in US, not only in India. So they have a lot of data challenges, lot of issues with the data. What is the first issue? The company is telling me, hey, Bhaskar, we don't have all the data in the single location. I have some data in US. I have some data in India. I have some data in UK. I have some data in Dubai. I have some data in, you know, England. Like that, they are having lot of, you know, enterprise businesses. Now, all the data is uh, decentralized. It is not centralized. So that is the first issue the company is telling. If you ask me, Bhaskar, I don't have the data in a single place so that I can give you uh, very, very easily. I have some data here, I have some data there, I have some data there. So that is the first issue that I'm talking, you know, co about. So, you know, do something about it. That is what Amazon company is saying. But Amazon company definitely wanted to have a centralized uh, reporting platform. We cannot, we cannot say, I will go to US, create some reports. I'll go to India, create some reports. I'll go to UK and create some reports. This is not the one they're talking about. So data is completely in different locations, but you cannot say, I will create a different, different uh, reports for the different, different locations. That is not the thing. So you have to centralize the data. Okay, you need to centralize the data, but as of now, the data of this company is decentralized. We're talking about a single company data now. Now, the second problem they're telling, we have the different, different environments. I have SAP environment in the US, I have India, I have .NET servers. In UK, we are running a Java. In Dubai, we have Android applications and lot of other things are running. And some of the data is also available in Excel and some of the data is also available in a DB2 platform, blah, blah, blah. So mainframe DB2. So they don't have all the data in a single platform. Different applications are available. Some of the data is available in Windows, Linux, Java, .NET, Excel, flat file, this one, that one. So that is the second environmental issue. So when I'm asking the data, 
uh, as a developer, the Amazon is my client or the customer. They're telling me all these stories. Now, the second, the third story, they're telling, hey, Bhaskar, we have a different sizes of data. They're telling me next issue, we have different sizes. In some places, we have small amount of data. Small means I'm getting some GBs of data. In some places, we have some medium amount of data, some probably some terabytes. And some places where we have a large amount of data, probably terabytes of data, petabyte of data, we are able to produce. Now, this is what is the size of the data we are talking about. When you have a small size, that is fine. But when you have a medium size, a large size, you have to think about hardware configuration, software configuration, and the networking configuration, rotor configuration, lot of things you need to understand because they're not talking about small size every time. They're talking about different, different sizes of data is available in different, different, you know, you know places. Okay, so that is what uh, you got to understand. Now, the next one, you know, I, I they're telling accuracy of the data. Accuracy means how uh, clean the data. So it will be sometimes low cleaned data. So medium cleaned data, or it is going to be high, you know, go, uh, high cleaned data or completely, it is a cleaned data. So accuracy means how clean it is. So if the data they're supplying is not so cleaned, what will happen? If you take the wrong data or the bad data, not cleaned data, clean data means lot of duplicated are available. A uh, lot of misspelled data is available. A lot of blank values are available. A lot of data is uh, abruptly filled, not properly is there. When you have a bad data coming, when you have a 20, 30 percent of the bad data coming to you, if you take the bad data as it is and you are not cleaning the data, taking the data as it is and you're trying to create a lot of data analytics or data science application, what happens? For example, you have a lot of vegetables, but some of the vegetables are bad. So what will you do? You have to clean those vegetables, right? You have to cut them. Half potato is spoiled. What you do? You cut the half potato and remove it. You peel the potato. If fully gone means fully throw that out. But you cannot say, I will take as it is, I'll cook the food. I'll make a dish means people are not going to be eating the dish because it will be you know, g giving you bad smell and bad taste. So, whatever comes in wrong, goes out will be wrong. Right? So, whatever puts in is wrong in the Power BI or the database, comes out will be wrong. If you think negatively, if you put negative thoughts in the brain, you cannot, you know, act in a positive manner, right? Can you? You cannot. You never act as a positive guy. So, if you have a positive thinking, then only you can become a positive guy. So, if you have the bad data, so what happens now? If you have the bad data, if you're not cleaning the data properly, taking the data as it is from the customer saying that customer has, has given me the data, I have used it. What is my fault? It is your fault. 100% it is your fault if you're not cleaning the data. If I give you potato as a, as a chef, will you be cleaning or not? Will you be telling Baskar sir is my customer, has given me the potato and tomato. I have used it. I did not clean it. So will you be saying like that? It is completely wrong. So you have to see the customer's data. You have to clean the data. And for the cleaning purpose, if you have more cleaning to be done means more resources you need to add, more uh, budget is going to be there and more time it is going to be consuming. If you have a bad data, we have to clean the data, right? So who's going to be cleaning? Only we should clean it. For that purpose, we need to have more developers. One guy is cleaning, but when, when you have large amount of data, manually we cannot clean the data. We will be able to write a lot of coding and with the help of a Java coding, .NET coding or some other coding, we need to clean the data or we can use SSIS coding, you know, some ETL coding, we can clean the data. Cleaning is also one more task. When you do a lot of cleaning, you will be getting the cleaned data. You will get a cleaned report, so cleaned data analytics can be done. So remember, so cleaning is very, very important for the data. You cannot, you know, take the data as it is and create a reports or create a data analytics applications on top of the data like that there are many challenges of data remember so the customer will say hey Bhaskar, i have some data take my data and create 
lot of data science applications or create lot of data analytics applications means you can do that but the problem the data is a decentralized it is available in different platforms it is available in different sizes different accuracy levels so all these concerns are there that you have you have to understand and plan accordingly so what we are going to be doing so you have the data coming from different different places now you have some three to four places all the data i'm going to be bringing from this place these are the data sources of the amazon company now all the data i can bring from here all the data i can get get it from here i can get it from here i can get it from here now this data may be data may be coming from sap this is there in india and some data may be coming from .NET server, it may be, you know, coming from US. Some data you may be getting from Dubai and uh, <clears throat> so it is maybe one minute. We are getting some data from the Dubai and maybe Excel data. All the data belong to which company? I'm talking about Amazon company. So what we can do, we can get complete data. We should be able to integrate data. We should be able to combine the data with the help of ETL operations. So there is a SSIS software is available. So as we know, SSIS is part of MSBA, right? So yesterday I was talking about, we have uh, SSIS application is available as part of MSBA. MSBA started or released year 2005. SSIS means SQL Server Integration Services. Integration means combining, merging the data. Hmm? And the data combine sheet. So all the data need to be combined. So extracting the data, transforming the data, loading the data with the help of SSIS. SSIS will get all the data and all this data is going to be loading into one more computer. What is that computer called as? The computer is called as now staging computer. So all the data from SAP, from .NET, from Dubai, all the data we can take it. Why? We can, we can combine and store it because it is a single company data. Single company data. This server is called as a staging server. Staging means a temporary. The server is called as a temporary server normally these servers are sql servers or the database management servers you may be having sql software running oracle is running all the data from here all the data from here is going to come here so we create multiple tables we will be able to store the data so after that what normally we do we are going to be doing data cleansing part data cleaning part we are going to be doing Clear? So that is what you need to understand. So what kind of a things you do? You remove duplicated data. If you have a duplicates, that you need to remove. You need to correct misspelled data. So there is a lot of spelling mistakes are available. Correct misspelled data. Or sometimes you're going to be splitting the data. Sometimes you're going to be merging the data. Sometimes you're going to be converting the data. So all these things you are going to be doing correcting misspelled data splitting the data merging the data converting the data so all these things are going to be doing so this is what is called data cleansing where are you going to be doing you're going to be doing into the staging server staging means temporary so all the data is not going to be there permanently i'll give you a simple example you go to the supermarket you go to the supermarket you will be buying a lot of vegetables this is uh, shop number one, shop number one, you buy some potato and tomato from the shop number one. You go to shop number two, buy some, you know, chicken or some fish. Go to shop number three, you buy some leafy vegetables. All of them, where are you going to be keeping? All of them, you will be putting into your temporary bag. So this is your carry bag. All of them, you're going to be dumping into the bag. Staging means a temporary. So some vegetables shop number one shop number two shop number three like that all the vegetables you're getting and putting into your bag after that what you do you come home you open the staging server you open the staging server you will be able to uh, take out a potato you clean them 
uh, half potato is gone, you clean them, half tomato is gone, you throw them, leaves, you, you put them in the salty water and like that, whatever you wanted to have, you can, you know, have them and all the cleaned vegetables, what you do, you take the vegetables from the, you know, after cleaning, you are going to be placing all the vegetables again. So you will you'll be going to be taking all of them with the help of your support. Your help of your help of your support. What you do? You take and again we are going to be performing ETL operations now. We'll be taking again SSIS and we'll take all the data from this and all the data will be now loaded to where you have a refrigerator at home, right? So what you do? All the vegetables are going to be stored in the fridge. So there is a refrigerator. So using that, all the vegetables you are going to be putting into the refrigerator. So cleaned vegetables are going to go. Now this is what is called data warehouse. Warehouse means go down. So data warehouse. So it is a single spelling. You should not write a, a space like this. So okay, single. Uh, spell it is data space warehouse you cannot write like this also data space warehouse is a single spelling so data warehouse how the data warehouse is created as i told you you have to buy a large hardware large hardware but what software you are going to be installing sql or dbms software you will be installing so this is equivalent to your refrigerator you will buy a lot of vegetables and you clean them after cleaning them what you do you put them in the your refrigerator so this is what is called data warehousing data warehouse will have today's vegetables yesterday's vegetables this is a refrigerator so you're going to be having all the one week 10 days vegetables also available here fresh vegetables are going to come to the this okay fresh vegetables are available in this now you will be able to you know go and get the data like this have you uh, understood now this is what is called amazon and this is what is called data sources so amazon company is giving you sap data dot net data all the data you're going to be taking so these are called data sources or these are called as this is this is one more name to, uh, given to this this is what is called oltp servers oltp means online transaction processing and this data warehouse is called as this data warehouse is called as OLAP servers. There are two types of servers we have. One is called OLTP server and OLAP server. So we need to understand this carefully so that you can answer the interview question. What is OLTP? OLTP means online transaction processing. Transaction means in Telugu Lava Devi. So online transaction whatever you do today it is a transaction for example you go to the bank and do the cash withdrawal or you pay the loan emi or you close the account you open the account whatever you do that is a transaction you come to go online trainings.com you inquire about your course or you can you you join the course you call for the course you inquire about the course you make the payment for the course all these are called as a transaction 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 clear so what i'm trying to do i wanted to go to amazon.com and i wanted to let us say i i wanted to go to amazon.com this is a java.net i don't know but i wanted to buy a lenovo laptop so i wanted to see and i am planning to buy this laptop i click on this now i need to make the payment for this much and click on buy i will give all the date now whenever i am making the payment so what will happen i am opening i am in india this is my laptop this is my laptop so when i say amazon.india so what is going to be happening my laptop is getting connected to this server that i don't know what is the server i have i have a sap server so how do i connect i will go to amazon.in or amazon.com whatever will be the application that is there or i can go to android mobile phone or ios mobile phone i can download amazon app i can connect with, with that help of app also so i don't know that i am be i'll be connecting to one server so i buy some uh, laptop when i buy the laptop what will happen so i'm going to be writing some data into this server like that many people are connecting via mobile phones many people are connecting via you know laptops 
desktops they will be buying and buying buying and buying a lot of items so all the data will be coming to this server so the server is called as a data source or it is called as a OLTP so OLTP is going to be getting what kind of a data fresh transactional data for example you bought some item today so fresh data is going to be going into the uh, OLTP server it could be any server forget about SAP or Java dot net America people are going to be buying America people are going to be buying or Dubai people are also buying the data is going to go to this server so simultaneously parallelly the sales is going on everywhere the data is going to come to this server but remember this data is a fresh data much more time it will be read and write data 80 percent of the time people are buying the product you go to bank what will you do you are going to be depositing withdrawing transferring once in a while you read what is my balance or what is my past six months you know uh, transaction so 20 percent of the time you read the data 80 percent of the time you are going to be writing the data so wherever you do a fresh transaction that is called as OLTP server so where all you do you go to the bank and you do you go to the Walmart and buy some product there is a bill will get generated what is that bill data the bill data is a fresh data or you recharge your mobile phone or you make the EMI uh, loan amount to the bank so whatever the data is going to be generated today that will be OLTP data remember so we are using only OLTP application it may be Java application dot and application I don't know I simply go to amazon.com or I go to yatra.com and book some flight tickets or I go to irctc.com book some train tickets I would like to go to book my show buy some uh, cricket or you know the movie tickets and everything so whenever you do anything the data will be generated so bookmyshow.com is going to be using a server the server is called as a it may be java.net i don't know it may be a server where the fresh data is going to be getting collected so wherever there is a fresh data the data the server is called as oltp data and remember what is the size of the data here you will be able to get the small size data the data will be probably uh, in the gbs only every month you are going to be getting 500 gb of data or it will be one terabyte of data these servers are small in size this is a server sap is a server but small in size not very very bigger one so once in a three months or once in a six month this server is full like that this server is also full people are buying and buying buying and buying this is also full and this is also full if the server is full what should i do i have to take all the data from here i have to dump so i have to dump it into staging clean this data and from here i have to dump the data into the a one more server i need to buy one more server so all the data from here all the data from here all the data from here is going to be coming and it will be cleaned data now you will be able to dump the data now this will become empty these are empty now no data is available like that you know you wait for six months or one year these servers are OLTP servers are very less capacity servers and these will take data for six months or one year once it is full all the data from the OLTP will come to OLAP OLAP means data warehouse for example I will give one scenario you don't have the water at home daily morning six o'clock water tanker comes to your street or water is uh, coming in the street taps so there is a tap six o'clock water comes what you do you take a bucket and go you your father mother sister everybody is going to the street and six o'clock six thirty water comes now you are carrying a plastic bucket or a silver bucket or a you know any other steel bucket so what you do you are going to be collecting the water so the water is full in this you switch on the tap the water is full what you do you take the water and you get it and pour it in the drum so what is the data warehouse data warehouse is a drum or the tank you are going to be getting and putting it here like that this is your bucket so this is your mother's bucket so he is also going and capturing the water and putting into here like that everybody is going to the you know a street 
capturing the water and getting the water and uh, putting it here and uh, after that this will become empty again come back and switch on the tap and uh, capturing the water now tell me what is the bucket size the bucket size will be 30 40 liter right so oltp similar to that oltp small in size so it will be having gbs of data less than one terabyte of data you can have maximum every month you are getting some 500 gb of data so that is what i can tell you what is the data you can tell you can get 500 gb of data every month you're getting from all the places so what is the capacity of your bucket 30 liter 40 liter 30 liter 40 liter so every time if the bucket is full you're dumping the water into the you know drum again you will come back and take this so oltps are just like a bucket it could be any bucket it could be java dot net forget about it but it can maximum time you're going to be using these servers for the writing data small size what is the capacity of the server less than one terabyte and this is what is called OLTP. Now, what is OLAP? OLAP means data warehousing. Okay. So, OLAP means what? Nana? Data warehousing. You can say data warehouse. Online analytical processing. OLAP means compulsory interview question. So, it is going to be having not the fresh data. It is going to be having historical data because after three months only, the data will go here historical data so old data will be read only data now every month you are getting 500 gb 500 gb 500 gb into 12 months data what is the capacity it will be 6 terabytes of data into 10 years of data you are going to be storing it will be approximately 60 terabytes of data you have it here so remember it is not there in the GBs, it is not there in the small size, it is a large size data and probably you have 50, 60, 100 terabytes of data that you are going to be maintaining, clear? So every time, you are, you know, whenever you buy a transaction, whenever you buy a product, so Amazon is going to be keeping the data into this, but after some time, this data, when the bucket is full, what will you do? You take the bucket of water, go to the drum or the tank and put the water and come back with the empty bucket and again, you switch on the tap, you will be able to get the water. So that is what you need to understand. So there are some buckets are available in this world. Those buckets are called as OLTP servers. It can contain only limited water, limited data, but when the servers are full, the servers are full, you're going to be taking the data from here and you're going to be dumping. But one guy told, Are Bhaskar, why are you taking the data, water, you know, every, uh, every day manually and dumping it here? can't you buy a motor pump so i i got an idea why is that i am every day going and manually dumping so i wanted to buy a motor pump so these are the motor pumps are available so what i do this is my bucket now i will take this motor pump i will be able to connect like this now this is what is called your etl etl means what nana data pumps so what data pump will do this is your drum or the tank so it can connect to multiple uh, sources of the water it is going to be taking the water from here and dumping all the water into the tank or the drum tank or the drum so that is what you got to understand now we have different different companies this is you know flow 1hp company kirloskar company zindal company Texmo company, lot of companies are available, right? So we have Microsoft company that is what is called SSIS. It is Microsoft brand. So this Kirloskar, you can say this is one more company's ETL. This is Informatica. Informatica is one more company's motor pump. Clear? So, you need to understand this is one more company's motor pump. This is one more company's motor pump. So, you should be able to understand all these pumps are can get the water and all of them can be exported to where? To the tank or the, this one. So, this will be one more company. This is our company called SSIS, right? So, we have a cloud there is one more as you know etl software cloud software adf azure data factory and this will be third party informatica 
so many people are learning informatica also but informatica is no more in the market you never never go in for this and you have one more company ibm company etl software data stage so lot of companies are giving you the etl softwares not only microsoft microsoft is having one is called ssis the second one is called cloud adf azure data factory these are the popular etl softwares etls simply a data importing exporting software control c and control v so we have a data stage informatica texmo it is one more company uh, so one more company we have a talent okay talent and this is one more company pentaho so lot of etl softwares are available in the world remember that okay lot of etl softwares are available etl means pumping the data from one place to another that is what you need to understand in your body there is a blood pumping so there is a etl machine is there so who is going to be pumping the blood your heart your heart is a etl remember your heart is a ssis in your body there is a staging where the cleaning is going to be happening blood cleaning can you tell me what is that area that is called as a kidney kidney is your staging area where the blood is going to be filtered cleaned clear your heart is your etl etl means pumping the blood from one place to another so that the blood can go to brain the blood can go to hands the blood can go to destinations wherever the blood wanted to go it will be you know pressuring you know applying the lot of pressure and pumping the blood clear so what is the heart heart is called as a etl device your kidney is called as a staging area all the Uh, data all the data will get all the blood will get filtered in your staging area did you understand so this is what you got to understand you are getting the water from the bucket number 1 bucket number 2 bucket number 3 and directly dumping here that is fine but if the water is not so cleaned what will happen if the water is not so cleaned what will happen this will be spoiled right this will be spoiled so normally what we do we dump the data to one more drum this is one more drum or the tank we buy one more tank and or the drum so we will be initially putting the water here we are going to be cleaning the water so cleaning means we boil the water you put chlorination chlorine you avoid you you put boil the water reverse osmosis techniques you apply you do whatever you would like to do to clean the water now you are going to be cleaning in the tank number 1 after that what you do again you take this water with the help of one more motor pump and you are putting into drum number 2 or the tank number 2 clear so that is the reason from here to here you need to have one motor pump that is this and from here to here you need to have one more motor pump that is this clear you need to maintain two motor pumps to get the data or to get the water so initially you are going to be keeping into this tank and cleaning the water cleaned water will go to this one so you have all the data cleaned data is available here so after that what you do so you have the data you have a vegetables in the refrigerator if you have only vegetables in the refrigerator so can can you eat the food no you cannot you need to go to the kitchen and process the vegetables right you have a cleaned vegetables so all the data is coming and stayed so all the vegetables are came all chicken came and cleaned and it is available in your data warehousing data warehousing is a just like a final tank or a refrigerator it is available but who's going to be processing your food there is a kitchen you need to have there is a small kitchen the kitchen is going to be used to process your food clear you get the vegetables from the refrigerator with the help of this small kitchen so this is one more application so this is what is called ssas so you think it is also a kitchen okay so where you process the food for example i have some data 10 comma 20 i have only small data 10 comma 20 but what is that i would like to know i wanted to get what is the grand total 30 it is a processing right so if we have only two numbers anybody can do it manually but if we have 10 billion data here i want to know what is the grand sales last 5 years so that uh, company wanted to understand a report where they wanted to have last 5 years sales need to be summarized now tell me how many how much of transactions per day in amazon.com it will be 
millions of transactions per day we are talking about five years of data and how much of a data you need to crunch or you need to sum is it very easy it is not very very easy so data warehouse will have a billions of data sss application is going to be getting the data performing a summing operations average operation a minimum maximum sorting getting all the processing will be done with the help of a sss so sss is similar to your kitchen in the kitchen you have stove oven grinder lot of things are available with the help of those small tools kitchen can process the food so after processing the food what will you do okay you have taken the vegetables you have processed the food after that what you do you are going to be taking a plate and neatly garnishing and serving the food so everything is now ready raw data you got it in the data warehouse you have created lot of summaries some and after that you have to serve the food how do you serve it you have to take a plate plate means here i'm going to be keeping all the data neatly and i will create a lot of reports here report is your plate okay you are going to be creating a lot of visualizations here so this is what you you know your plate or you can going to be serving the food clear so you can create a report with different different tools you may use ssrs is also number one reporting tool excel is also number one reporting tool power bi is also number one reporting tool tableau bi is also number one reporting tool right so lot of tools are available in this world you can use one of the tool to create the reports now report is the end product get the data clean the data <clears throat> dump the data into the refrigerator then you go to the kitchen cut the you know cook the vegetables into small soak the soak the data clean the data lot of things are going to be doing and you cook the food into the kitchen that is process the data and the process of data you should be able to display them in the report the report can be created with the help of a power bi or a tableau now these reports are can be given to whom these reports are can be given to a a developer a developer can create these reports now these reports are going to go to your uh, manager decision maker clear so these people are called as a decision makers or the business users these are to run the business all these people are called as mba guys they don't know any technology they are the managers in the company i am a sales manager marketing manager i am the brand manager i am the ceo i am the board of director so all these people are called as a business users these people are going to be asking you reports now how do you create a report you get the data clean the data store the data every month data you will be dumping into data warehousing and you create a uh, you process the report you process the data with the help of ssas after that the reports are going to be made the reports is the end product so you are going to be getting lot of circus and creating a report using power bi or ssrs or tableau so that you will be able to you know create thousands of reports these reports will be given to the business user now business user will ask you the report i need this kind of a report then only the entire process is going to start if they don't ask you the report then why is that we, we have to maintain data warehousing and everything so they will be asking so that is the reason why the data warehousing and everything would have been implemented in the company when you join the company everything is there you have oltp systems are ready olap data warehousing are ready you have ssas and everything is ready you are not going to be creating a fresh because already companies are using bi applications you may need to create a new ssis work or you may need to work on the new ssas part or you may be need to work on the new power bi reports that you have to create you have to give it to your boss clear so that is how you are going to be doing so what is oltp did you understand oltp means data sources where the fresh data is going to come so it will be there for only some time so how much time you are going to be keeping the vegetables in the bag only a couple of uh, hours after that you are going to be keeping the data into the refrigerator or into the fridge for longer period yeah am i clear oltp means your buckets so olap means your tank or the bank so the data will be processed in between we going to be cleaning the data and we going to be 
you know, transforming, extracting means extracting the data, transforming the data, loading the data. Transformation means, we'll talk about this later, transformation means cleaning or make some changes, okay? So you can also do cleaning in the ETL, we can also do some cleaning in the staging area. So cleaning is going to be happening everywhere, right? So cleaning also can happen here, cleaning also can happen here. Some 25% cleaning may be happening here, remaining 70% may be happening here like that. Or you know, 50% cleaning can be happening here, remaining 50% cleaning can happen here, or 0% cleaning is happening in the here, 100% cleaning is going to be happening here, that is your choice. But there are many places where you should be able to clean your data and all the cleaned data will be going into the data warehousing. So data warehouse is called as a OLAP application. Clear? So you will be able to create a lot of reports and you will be able to give it to the your boss. Did you understand clearly, guys? So I will give you a simple example. What is your work? You know, what is the work you do and what exactly you're going to be doing in the real time? I'll tell you. I will give you one small, you know, example or the case study. So concentrate on this. You go to the hospital saying that you are not well. You meet doctor. So doctor will give you some medical uh, uh, tests to be done immediately. You take that test and go to the laboratory. In the laboratory, there is a lab technician. In the laboratory, there is a lab technician is going to be collecting your body temperature, is going to be collecting your body, uh, blood from your body and weight. All of them is going to be preserving it. All the blood is going to be putting into refrigerator and processing the blood and creating a report. That report will be given to you. The patient may get the report. Now you carry the report and go to the doctor. Who is the doctor now? Doctor is a decision maker. So the lab technician will not tell you, you have a cancer, you have a kidney problem, you have a heart disease. That is not the duty of a lab technician. Lab technician will create a report. He will collect the blood, store the blood, clean the blood, process the blood and create a report and the report will be given to the business user. Who is the business user? Doctor. So doctor will tell you there is a problem in your body. Clear? What is your role? Your role will be a lab technician in the organization. So what lab technician is going to be doing? He is going to be collecting the blood, storing the blood, processing the blood, creating a report. That is what you are going to be doing in the business intelligence or data analytics. You don't analyze the report. There is a one more guy called a doctor in the given example. That guy is going to be analyzing the data. But lab technician role is your role. Lab technician role is your role, collecting the data, cleaning the data, storing the data, processing the data, create a report, give the report to the end, you know, business user. So those people are going to be analyzing the reports. You are not going to be analyzing the report. So this is what you have to understand. Guys, Ardhamotunda, did I tell you clearly or not? So what all you need to know? What all you need to know means all of them you need to know. So you need to know. Yes, 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 very well. 25 days it is going to be taking to complete it. Now this module is going to be starting in the month of June, not now. So you need to make the payment and join in the month of June. So now we are going to be starting with the Power BI and we are going to be dealing with SQL also. SQL is going to be coming everywhere. SQL will be here, SQL will be here, SQL will be here. SQL is everywhere. So SQL and Power BI is going to be happening 45 days and this is also 45 days. Clear? So this we are going to be starting from tomorrow. So data warehousing only for 7 days. This will be free for you. This will be free for you. SSAS is also 5 days classes and this will be also free for you. Now what is that you are going to be joining today? Power BI and uh, the next one is called SQL. For these two, you need to make the amount. So you need to complete two months. April and May, we are going to be doing this. And after two months, you will be able to get data warehousing videos. And SSAS videos also will be given after this course. For freely, you can also practice them. In the month of June, you have to make the payment and you can continue with this. Clear? So after that, what normally we do? We prepare a uh, CV. We'll give you one more project for the... Uh, project preparation that will be the free but if you need some more project we have 
paid projects also available so those projects also you can buy and if you wanted to practice more projects means you can buy them and you can practice them but not now after uh, second month or after the third month so lot of sql case studies are going to be coming so lot of things i'm going to be giving it to you very very simple to complex case studies complex assignments will be there so you have to practice and each and everything that will this will be more than sufficient for you to crack any interview whether you put three years or a five years or ten years i'll, I'll be covering very very basic level to advance the level of concepts now you will be able to understand neatly so total duration will be three months right so april may sql and power bi month of june ssis and uh, after that we'll be making a cv and we'll be uploading the cv we'll be discussing about the projects we'll be discussing about lot of interview questions and i'm sure 80 percent of the interview questions are going to be coming from my syllabus you can ask any uh, ex students they'll tell me sir 80 percent of the subject will come from your whether it is a sql or a data warehousing or it is a you know power bi or msb whatever it is you're going to be getting from there if you're thoroughly thoroughly uh, studying means you will be able to get very good future is available so don't worry about the recession recession is a temporary it will be there for one month or one year or six months after that it will disappear so remaining period you need to have the skills only you need to have the skills only so learning skills are very very important and very very easy 20 years back we have to write a lot of coding java dot net java code dot net c c plus plus today tools are available power bi no coding ssis no coding data warehouse no coding right you have ssas no coding so no coding no coding no coding anybody can get into it industries today even though you have a 15 years of gap you should not be worried about it you have an education gap a career gap or you don't have the proper remarks or you have you know failed in some subject and after some time after through two three years you have cleared those means there's no problem my own brother could not complete his btech in 2010 he completed in 2013 he took almost five six years now that guy is working for accenture with the 20 25 lakhs of salary package so doesn't matter only thing is that when you have the skill open university degrees don't bother botany zoology btech mtech mechanical civil civil nothing to worry only you have to be enjoy the skills so slow and steady wins the race and it don't take it you don't think that i have to complete everything in one month it cannot happen right so you don't take that you know i don't have time so if you don't have a time then nobody can help you you have to have minimum two to three months of time or you may take some time extra six months also some people will take but let it be uh, there slow and steady wins the race the beauty is that every uh, video will be recorded and all the videos will be given six months validity for the course you will be able to get all the videos for the six months guys you enjoy you write the notes anytime if you have it you know something to be discussed or something to be asked you can ask any questions in the next class it may be sql doubt power bi doubt you can ask me in the next class itself we will clarify all the doubts if you have any labs of any lab issues means you can write a mail to me with your phone number i will be able to connect one to one i'll be able to you know sort out those lab issues as well so don't worry about it so anybody can learn the technology technology is no common sense it is not at all complex it is not a rocket science clear so if you have two plus two equals to four if you know this uh, means you can easily get into it industry learning msba or power ba or sql is dead easy if you don't learn today remember if you don't learn today because of artificial intelligence because of data science many companies are automating you lose sales jobs you lose operation jobs you lose teaching jobs you lose a lot of jobs end of the day more jobs are getting created in the you know it side and you know on non-it side lot of jobs you're going to be losing and when you compare the salaries for it to non-it people so non-IT non people are getting very, very less when you compare with the IT guys. Three years of experience in India can get a minimum 10 to 15 lakhs of salary package. Now within three to five years time, you can go up to 25 to 30 lakhs in India in Hyderabad itself. Right, as I told you, uh, one you know, girl from US 
at the age of 44 her name is usha she got you know 1.5 uh, thousand k 1.k usd salary uh, it is equivalent to 1.2 crore salary she got it just six months old so six months old means till many you know people are losing jobs but our students are you know cracking the jobs in us as well so all the best guys if you have any questions um there i'll be taking so tomorrow we'll install the software payment links and everything will be coming to you today so today is the final demo last demo the meeting id will change from tomorrow you can make the payments and installments you can just call these numbers for the payments and everything if you don't get any reply you can also mail me at basketjogi at gmail.com first check your spam if no communication is there call these people or whatsapp them still if you don't get any communication for the payments means you can also write me basket jogi i will be able to help you to make the payments so we'll continue tomorrow with the new meeting id the demos are free demo number one two three are free guys from tomorrow it will be paid class and meeting link will be given once you make the payment so thank you guys if you have any questions you should be able to ask me now so how much is the fee and everything you need to ask these guys only you need to wait for one hour the discounts and payment everything will come to you because if you fill the form this is what i ask you to fill right if you fill the form you are eligible for discounts otherwise you have to make the complete full payment so what is the payment and everything i don't know so you will be able to get the separate link so you can just call them so you can you can ask them and uh, everything right so don't ask me what is the payment and everything i don't know the the structure the discounts you need to ask this questions to these guys okay so wait for you know till afternoon if you don't get the communication then you should be able to call them or ask them chalo guys thank you